Hey, so I'm working on a EJ25 2.5 liter single overhead cam Subaru. There's lots of videos on YouTube about doing timing systems and changing the timing belt. I just want to point out a few things in case you haven't seen them yet. Make sure that you check these on your engine before you do your timing belt. So these are the idler pulleys. Um, you got one here, here, and here. Cobbed one and two smooth ones. Now these tend to get worn out and really should be checked when you're doing your timing belt every 105,000 miles. Um, this engine had about 40,000 miles in the last timing belt. The last person to service this engine did not change these because they're making a lot of noise. So what you need to look for is when, when they're on the engine you can just spin them. You hear that sound? How it sounds like a roller skate almost and it keeps spinning? That's a, that's a pretty worn bearing. There isn't much lubrication in there anymore. So we need to change those. So you can buy a whole timing kit, often from Gates or whatever, and uh, get that all in one set, except for the belt and the water pump. Those will be sold separately. But if your pulleys are making noise like that, and they keep spinning, you're going to want to have them changed. The new ones, they don't keep spinning. They spin for maybe four revolutions and then stop and then they don't make any noise either. And then also, um, one more thing is you want to use clamps on your tying belt when you're putting it on. Um, try to find a belt that has the marks on it, like this one. It makes things a lot simpler. Uh, start at your crankshaft, go around to here, and then leave this one off until the very end, because a lot, what a lot of people will do is they'll try to uh, cram this tensioner in last, and that'll strip out this bolt hole on here and then you'll be screwed. Um, and when you're putting these on and this on, be sure to turn the bolt backwards until it clicks. That way you won't cross thread it like I did. And I had to go take my engine in and get a time cert done on it, which is like a re-threading. It really sucked. Make sure you change your water pump. And uh, so we're gonna leave the tensioner off and this off. And go around, line up these marks to here and here. So once you have all those marks in, you might have to pull the belt a little bit, put your clamps on, and then push the belt down really hard here with the tensioner, get it to where this lines up, turn it backwards so it clicks, put it in by hand, just get it hand tight, get it snug, don't really wrench on it, otherwise you'll strip it. It's going into aluminum block, it strips really easily, but get it to where it's not gonna come off again. And the last step is just push up this belt here with this pulley and then thread that on and you're good to go. Lastly, you can just take these clamps off here and here and pull the pin and you're good to go. Timing system is done, now the timing cover can go back on. Anyway, I hope that helped. Uh, time, uh, paint pen also helps too for uh, getting the timing marks. Again, uh, the timing marks here on this cam, on the passenger side cam, I'm coming a little bit closer here. Uh, there's a seam right here at the timing mark. Lines up with here and this on the crankshaft. It won't look like it's on from the camera, but it is straight. Um, right up here, there's a mark. On the crank, there's a mark. And right here. And over here, you got one at the top of the timing cover. And on the camshaft pulley right there. Anyway, I hope you learned something. And uh, good luck.